It's only a few days to the National Convention of the People's Democratic Party, the PDP, and it appears a lot of conflicting interests capable of threatening the unity of the party and not fading away with time. The party's leadership said the South can have the chairmanship seat, but it's not that simple. The South West caucus believe it will be in the best interest of the PDP to microzone to them. Some leaders in the South, South, and even the caucus insist they deserve the chairmanship position. Now, there are eight chairmanship aspirants contesting for the number one seat of the PDP. Six of the aspirants are from the Southwest region, with Uche Secundus and Roman Dokpasi as the two aspirants from the South South. Amid fears of possible imposition, the party's leadership said they are creating a level playing field for all the candidates. The party has inaugurated the National Convention Committees. The committees has the responsibility of planning Saturday's National Convention to elect new officials to run the affairs of the party and work towards regaining power to the center. Now, will the party get it right this time? Take a listen to one of the leaders of the committees. Our members have indeed suffered a lot, and so the process of reconciliation was a little bit uh, easier than anticipated. But uh, we thank God for the successes we uh, re recorded. And I think most of the uh, uh, state uh, party chairmen and all their members are in position. Let's get talking now. We're now being joined on the program tonight from our Abuja studio by the chairman of the PDP National Con Elective Convention Committee and the governor of Delta State, Senator Ufai Okowa. Many thanks, uh, Governor, for joining us on the program tonight. Let's begin with um, what has become perhaps the fears of some of the members and leaders of the party, and that is going to be the issues of micro-zoning of uh, some of the seats. Uh, and the issue of your zone, the South-South, uh, is back in the top job of the party with the South West who believe that they've never had the opportunity of leading the party. Do you think that this might cause uh, a, a bit of a rancor on the day? Uh, actually, uh, I believe that the National Critical Committee of the party uh, is doing a lot to ensure that things are put in place. As for the National Planning Committee that I lead, we inaugurated uh, this afternoon and we have had our inaugural meeting. Uh, we do know that in any elective uh, convention, uh, all kinds of views do come into play. But us as a planning committee is to ensure that we deliver uh, a convention that is credible uh, uh, and in which all the processes are so that we will be blameless, we we'll deliver on a free uh, fair and transparent primary. That is our aim. And uh, for the reconciliatory process, we'll be looking onto the party leadership to deal with that. But our major task is to ensure that we deliver a convention that is truly credible and that all can attest to. Uh, that will enable us uh, heal faster. That will enable us unify faster after the convention. Beyond the process, the electoral process that is, and the issues that are affecting the party come to the fore, for example, the party has been bedeviled by the issues of leadership. And now it will come to the point where how the party is going to be stabilized, your major plan now as a party is to wrestle power from the ruling or progressive Congress. And the question will be, psychologically speaking, the leaders of the party are saying, Will the governors, just like they have always accused you people that you have always had your way in wrestling the affairs and the structure of the party from some of the leaders, are going to have your way, especially when it comes to the chairmanship of the party? I believe that the various uh, governors uh, preside over uh, different states. I'm not aware that all the governors are on the same page with any particular candidates. I've seen a lot of our party leaders, particularly those contesting the chairmanship uh, uh, position. They've been going around various states uh, campaigning for votes. I, I do not believe that all the governors uh, are there going to support one candidate. They believe in different candidates. And I, I, I do believe that um, 
once we have a credible process and uh, everybody can see that the process is transparent and fair to all, uh, I, I believe that, um, as I did say, that the reconciliatory process will, will, will be much faster. But I'm not sure that all the governors are, are going out to the convention with one candidate. And that's why you have a lot of candidates in the race, and because people have different opinions. It is definitely going to be a very competitive uh, election the way we see it. Um, and as chairman of the planning committee, I'm not allowed to hold my personal view on this. Uh, I, will not, I will not be casting any votes at that convention because I want to be sure that I'm out there leading the rest of the committee members to deliver a fair and, uh, and just process. One thing that will be very crucial on the day is the electoral panel committee. There was an agitation by some members of the party saying that they do not want uh, the former governor of Benue said, but who can you, can you tell us now, can you confirm to us who is the chairman of the electoral panel? Yeah, the chairman of the electoral uh, committee is the former governor of Benue State, but in that committee you have uh, men from the various, uh, uh, men and women from the various geopolitical zones and from various states. All states are represented in that panel. And uh, I also do know that we are definitely going to allow the, 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 the agents of all the candidates to be uh, at the point of accreditation and at the point of voting. So there, there's just no way, there's just no way as uh, somebody leading the entire park as the chairman of the uh, planning committee that we're going to allow a process where we're unjust. We're going to ensure uh, who Saver sees as the chairman. <laughs> There's no one person that is going to uh, be a know-it-all or that will have the final say. We will collectively ensure, uh, along with the agents of the, those competing at the, at, the, at the convention, we will definitely have to ensure that the process is credible and acceptable to all. Does it, is it commonsensical, for example, to listen to the agitations because the allegations against uh, former Governor Suzuami is that he's a friend of one of the governors who uh, is supporting and they've said that he has come out in the open to declare his support for one of the candidates. Will it be commonsensical for the party for the sake of peace and yeah. the sake of fairness to say he should perhaps step down because this ag agitation is coming and is in the week of the election of very crucial convention of the party. Yeah, that, that agitation has not come to me. I, I believe that uh, Susan is somebody who knows that we need to do things in the best interest of the party and not in the best interest of any particular candidate. Uh, and as I did say, each of the committees, particularly the electoral committee, there is, there is a chairman, he's the chairman, there's a deputy chairman, there's a secretary, there's a deputy secretary, and you have members. And this committee will also be supervised by the main planning committee that I had. So he's not one man that is going to have uh, a final say on, on issues that concerns uh, the election. I'm not aware that he has declared support for any particular candidate. Uh, but even if he has any uh, um, sentiments for anyone, he will not be in a position at all on the convention day uh, to do anything that is unjust. Have you removed the names of uh, governors and deputy governors, or the former governors and deputy governors, as automatic delegates? Or you still have them? Uh, no, they, 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 that, that issue arose, it was taken at the last NEC meeting of the party, which was uh, last Thursday. Uh, that is as a result of a court ruling that the amendment that brought the former governors and deputy governors as members of the convention in 2012 uh, was not uh, uh, properly done. The, the, the process of amending the party's constitution that brought them in was not properly done, and the court did rule that that aspect, that uh, clause that brought them in, along with one other clause uh, uh, in the party's constitution, was not properly uh, effected. And to that extent, uh, being a party that is obedient to the laws of the land, uh, we had to uh, yield to the court's uh, ruling 
and we have decided at the NEC meeting okay. that uh, those two clauses be expunged since it's as a result of a court judgment. Okay, now, uh, Governor Okowa, we'll take a moment on the program, but when we come back, we'll look into some of the issues because a lot of permutations are that this is going to be a make or mark convention for the PDP, whether it's the future of the party. We'll find out after now. Join us again, everyone.